Welcome back. So now that we know what our goal is, we're going to start out with just creating a module first. The module is going to be an auth module, so we'll say ng generate uh, m for module and we'll call it auth. And we want routing in this module so that we can route to the area of authentication. The idea with the auth module in my case is going to be the module is going to contain multiple things. It's going to have a login, it's going to have an unauthorized page, it's going to have a profile page, it's going to have some kind of create new user page maybe, stuff like that. So the module is going to have multiple things that has to do with authorization in my case. So we have that module available right now and again if we click here you'll see it loads up. There we go, we have the module. Let's go into our app routing down here and actually start <clears throat> adding this new module and I'll just do it by copy pasting a previous route. There we go and with that route I'm going to call it just auth like this and I want to go to the auth folder that we just created and I want to find the auth module file and in that auth module file I want to look for the auth module itself so that's kind of how we set that route up. Now we have slash auth available as well in our code actually and right now it won't show you anything because there's no component yet. So before we end this under the auth module I also want to generate a component right here let's just call that the login component it should be under the auth folder under login right here and there we go now we have the auth login component available and let's just see there it is so we're going to use that and inside our lock our auth routing right here we want to kind of add that new route so I'll go into that one and I'll just add a new route right here the path will be if I go to uh, slash login right here so login if I go to that page I want to open up the component called login component like this there we go so now we are able to actually go to auth slash login right here to get to the login component and again the login component doesn't do anything but with this in place we can actually at least go just to to slash login right here slash auth slash login to see if we actually have that page auth slash login and there we go we have that page available and if we go back now we can also go to our app component and just add a login right here inside our uh, page right here as well so we'll add login here and that will kind of redirect us to slash auth slash login right here and again we will change this later so that it looks a little bit prettier than it is right now but again it's just to kind of get us started now we can go to the home page and back to the login page if we actually want to and there we go so that's it uh, for this lesson now we kind of set up at least the basics to kind of be able to log in and uh, and have that page available so the next step is going to actually be setting up some actual login in our page and adding some services and everything else you would need in order to kind of create a login in our system so let's end it right there after we got our new auth module see you next time